This is what farmers like Stoker Freiter have been hanging on for. This disease that has changed an industry, finally defeated. And here in Northumberland, they have had the longest wait, the first to be hit, the last to be cleared, a community scarred by foot and mouth. There wouldn't be a farmer that hasn't been in, uh, really affected. Um, I think out of two and a half thousand farms, 1,700 have had some form of restriction on. We ourselves here have had some form of restriction on. We've been a, a next to a contact farm. Luckily, we've escaped foot and mouth. Um, but no, I never believed it would still be here in 2002. But hopefully this will be the last of it with a bit of luck. Foot and mouth brought terrible images back from the past. It was the UK's most serious animal disease epidemic in modern times, and it was tackled by slaughter and burning. But it wasn't tamed until it had swept through huge areas of rural Britain, until the army was on the street and the general election had been delayed. It has been a long fight, and the government says it's not over yet, but this is a significant move forward. There's an awful lot of lessons that have been learned by this and we do have independent inquiries both in terms of lessons learned and also the science uh, which are looking at the whole history of this epidemic which has been the world's worst. No other country has had, uh, had an epidemic like this. The government rejected calls for a public inquiry into foot and mouth but Northumberland didn't and by chance it started its work today. We've been asked to report as soon as possible. Here, as in much of rural Britain, foot and mouth, the way it was handled and the consequences, still dominates conversation. Well, a lot of people who've submitted evidence are critical of the government. So, yes, there will be criticism. It's not our... we don't set out to be critical of the government. We've got to follow the evidence. But today was a good day. Restrictions loosened, some sort of end in sight. Farmers here at Hedden on the Wall have spent nearly a year under siege from this disease. Tonight's announcement may be partly symbolic, but it will be greeted with genuine relief across the country. Now, it will be at least another month before the UK is pronounced disease-free internationally. But tonight, at last, it appears that foot and mouth has gone. Richard Bilton, BBC News, Heading on the Wall.